y'all can hear your thrifty apprentice happy sunday everyone today i am using my 120 count of wrestling alcohol markers i am still doing field tests for them and i'll have a review coming up for them pretty soon i'm using soho urban artist heavyweight sketch paper now i bought this power bound sketchbook a couple of weeks back you guys have seen me using it over a few videos doing a few illustrations with different mediums on it because i am working up to a review of the paper as well i told you guys in a previous video that um for the year 2024 i was going to try to start including paper reviews in my um, videos as well simply because at this point i've used so many different ones and i just kind of figure that i may help you guys miss some duds by starting to do reviews on them um as a matter of fact the second week of january all three of those videos will be review videos so you guys prepare yourself for a week of reviews uh wednesday friday and sunday starting the second week of january uh, and just to give you guys a head up now this illustration is the illustration of fries in like a metal bucket i recently went to uh this like country western sort of picnic style restaurant it was really really cool i ordered some fries and they came in this metal bucket that sort of looked like a sewing thimble i thought it was so cool and i figured it would be a really cool thing to illustrate i told you guys many times before we have to paint those things that inspire us and of course i am really inspired by food <laughs> so here this illustration is now be honest it kind of gave me a run for my money. Um, I've never illustrated anything like this before, especially not in alcohol markers. Um, and I was kind of fighting to figure out what colors I need and what colors I could see in the photo and the undertones um, from the reference that I was using. So the thimble, or should I say the bucket itself, was done with several shades of gray. Of course, a light, a medium, and a dark tone. Um, I will say that about the Riesley set, it does have some pretty decent grays in it. It's not a large range of grays, but the grays that are included are very useful, um, I have found. Now, I did the fries themselves. I started out using a more orangey kind of, um, I, I don't know, uh, goldenrod or gamboji looking orange to color them and i figured that that was too dark for the base color so i decided to use that particular tone as the uh, mid-tone and i went with a much lighter yellow to do the first layer of color on all of the fries um, i went back in with a golden tone to do the mid-tones and kind of shade certain sides of the fries and then I grabbed an even darker orange or more saturated orange, uh, more of a brownie orange in order to do the really shadow sides. Of course, browns are a really like desaturated oranges, so they work really well together. Now, I've got so far with it and I decided that I wanted to actually separate those fries because after putting down the first layer it seemed just like a big mass tone of color so i went in with my fine liners in order to add some um, line details and really make those fries stand out i feel like doing that step helped me see and gauge better where i wanted to put the darker tones um, for the shadow of all those fries kind of being bunched together and afterwards, I realized that maybe the brownie, the orangey brownie, ready brown that I used was a little bit too orangey red. So it sort of made the fries look like they were sitting in, I don't know, like a chili sauce or something of that nature. Um, it didn't take away from the illustration at all. I just wish that um, I had found maybe a better tone in order to do the shadow color with. However, um, I still actually like the way that the illustration came out. Um, it, it turned out pretty well for this to be the first time. Now, this is one of those small body alcohol markers. They really remind me of the two seed water-based art markers that we used back during, uh, was it Inktober or maybe it was 
back in November um, where I posted the illustration of a glass of champagne. I think the title for it was like Cheers. And I'm not sure if you guys remember um, those particular markers. And I'll link that video in case you guys want to go check it out. But the body style from those water-based markers and the body style from these alcohol-based markers is relatively the same and designed exactly the same way. I think I mentioned to you guys before in a previous video, I'm starting to notice that any marker set that actually has the words art markers on them, in my experience anyway, tend to be the smaller body style. And I don't see art markers on the larger body style. I just see it say marker or alcohol marker. So, you know, that's, that's something to keep in mind. Um, after I got everything kind of shaded in, looking the way I wanted to, I decided I wanted to add a little bit more saturation in the color to um, the sort of thimble bucket that they were sitting in. So I went back in with those three grays. Um, that I originally used to illustrate it and just darkened uh, up the saturation of each of the shades that was on there. Um, and I think that the fine liner added um, more definition and helped the kind of rims, uh, those three circles that you would see around sort of a thimble style, uh, a sort of, uh, not sort of, but those three circles you would see around the thimble. I think it helped me um, Using that black fine liner, excuse me, helped me illustrate those a little bit better. So um, it was a pretty cool illustration. I mean, it's kind of straightforward. I do believe that I'm going to be posting a traceable on Patreon um, in case you guys don't want to draw it and you want to grab it. Um, Patreon is a wonderful place where you get to see all of the behind the scene work that goes on here in the studio as well as content that you won't see on youtube although i do use youtube to host those videos those videos are not actually available on youtube they're only available on patreon and that um that that, that series is called uh, thrifty real behind the scene look uh, I am planning on adding a additional series to Patreon, and it's going to be where I am posting one video a week of full-time, real-time, in-depth tutorial into, um, you know, what I'm illustrating. And, of course, there'll be a time lapse that go on that goes up on YouTube for it, but the actual full-time, real-time demonstration will be on Patreon. And all those Patreon proceeds are used to continue to buy products like you see me using now in order for me to test and review and bring you guys thoughts and opinions, hoping that it may help you um, make a decision about what you do or don't want to add to your art supply um, as you take on your art journey. Now you can see I use those suit color pencils in order to add a little body to the illustration that's the same set of pencils that i use to color the illustration that's right above the bucket of fries um the little new year's um and those two color pencils are really cool uh, for them to be so cheap and economical again a review coming out doing the week of reviews for those pencils so stay tuned for that um so after you know getting the body done i'm just gonna jump in with some um, gel pen in order to do the highlights because I felt like I had taken it pretty much as far as I could and I was you know decently happy with the way it turned out well guys hopefully you enjoyed the illustration and just chatting for a while if you heard saw or picked up on anything you like don't forget to give the video a thumbs up um, go ahead and subscribe hit the notification bell so you'll know when the new content comes out share the video because sharing is caring um and maybe someone else will love to see the illustration uh check out the video description for all of the relevant links don't forget about patreon and etsy if you want to help support the channel and keep all these wonderful art videos going you can check out the most um, recommended product list as well as the link for the facebook group where we do all things artsy and crafty thank you for joining me and just keep painting and crafting